Jobs Initiative has been very successful. Opoku High School, they are for the motion, and Presec Bompata are against the motion. So we'll call on the principal speaker for Opoku High School, Ousu Kwabna Jones, to start the debate. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for him. Please let's watch this video. Plenty for food and job in the A quiet price here. Would it be come one in ye? In Tiama, companies in the Bibri, so what did Yaman be grown on Nanka, a home bed dinner, what on a board dinner, no be anti minions. Expose number one. From the horse's own mouth, clearly we see this man who is a beneficiary of this successive initiative, attesting to the fact that farm input has drastically been reduced by the government. And my opponents are here to say otherwise. Interesting. Mahatma Gandhi said, and I quote, satisfaction lies in the effort, not the attainment. Full effort is full victory, unquote. The chair, panel of judges, accurate timekeeper, distinguished guests, co-debaters, fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, a lovely afternoon to you all. Proud I am to be called Ousu Jones, a gallant principal speaker for the motion before the house. Now I quote, the planting for food and job initiative has been very successful, unquote. The chair, before I proceed to my argument, permit me to define some key words in the motion and the motion as a whole and analyze critically the motion for the benefit of all and sundry. As and when needed, exhibits will be tended to back our claims. Without further ado, the chair, the Ministry of Food and Agriculture defines the Ministry of Food and Agriculture defines planting for food and job initiative as a program that seeks to create food security and produce raw materials to feed the agro-processing industries whilst creating jobs in the process. Very, a high degree of something. Successful according to the college dictionary, something that achieves what it was intended to achieve. The motion therefore in this naked form means a program that seeks to create food security and produce raw materials to feed the agro-processing industries whilst creating jobs in the process has gained higher achievements. Without further ado, the chair, to my first point, the objectives that were set for this initiative have all been achieved. The objective steps for this planting for food and job initiatives were four, and they are very much on track. The first objective was to ensure immediate and adequate availability of selected food commodities. In response to this objective, there was significant yield increase recorded in 2017 for selected crops. Maize increased by 67% from 1.8 million metric tons, rice by 48%, and soya by 150% from 1 million metric tons to 2.5 million metric tons. The second objective was to create job opportunities for the unemployed youth. In response to this objective, the Finance Minister, Honorable Ken Oforiata, disclosed during his 2020 media review that over 2.28 million jobs were provided for the unemployed. The third objective of the chair was to create awareness for all former workers to farm and establish backyard gardens. In response to this too, some medical doctors did not only establish the gardens but actually resigned to go into agriculture the last objective was on importation and with this ghana has drastically reduced imports on selected foods like maize tomato rice jam amongst others to my chair to my second point the chair thousands of people have become farmers overnight due to this flagship program gone where it is where farming and agriculture related activities were just for the illiterate now people from all walks of life and the teaming youth have joined the bandwagon due to this flagship program the chair the house the total number of farmers enrolled into the program since its inception in 2017 has risen from 202,000 to 1.5 million. In order to enhance food production in the wake of COVID-19, additional 300,000 farmers were registered onto the program. My opponent, what else does the program require to be very successful? To my third point, the chair, the Planting for Food and Job Initiative has been a panacea for productivity and welfare of farmers. According to the Sector Minister for Food and Agriculture, Dr. Wusio Friye, the agricultural sector experienced growth rate of 8.4% last year amid COVID-19 pandemic. Within three years since the launch of the initiative, there is crystal clear evidence to prove that national maize production increased from 1.7 million metric tons to 2.9 million metric tons. Rice by 34% from 688,000 to 925,000. The chair, the house, these figures don't lie. The program is indeed a blessing to the nation. To my fourth point, the chair, the Planting for Food and Job Initiative has witnessed an unprecedented dented exports of foodstuffs to neighboring countries. In an article cited online by MyJoy.com, it was revealed that Ghana has become a major breadbasket for West Africa due to this flagship program. In 2019, 
the program facilitated an export of 19 different food items amounting to 150,000 metric tons of them worth 19 million US dollars. The president, Nana Andudanko Ekufuado, endorsed his minister's effort by stating, and I quote, vibrant agri sector created. Ghana now a net exporter of foodstuffs, unquote. In his 36th Farmers Day celebration speech, he specifically mentioned that the country now has enough food to spare for Burkina Faso and Côte d'Ivoire. To my face, point the chair, the Planting for Food and Job Initiative has attracted the massive interest of international communities. In an article written by Severus Calderi entitled The Planting for Food and Job Initiative, a success story I then seek to replicate, he revealed that various international platforms marketed the program to the international communities who have endorsed such a successful and important policy. The chair, the house, no wonder countries have officially visited Ghana to understudy and replicate this program. The chair, the house, no country, I repeat, no country will replicate your program by another country if that program were not successful if my opponent sold out to me well there is enough evidence to prove that mali burkina faso malawi and recently Trinidad and tobago are some of these countries to my safe point the chair the planting for food and job initiative has reversed the importation of foodstuffs to a very low level the president nana adudanko Kufado, intimated in a press conference at the world economic forum in january 2020 that the successful implementation of this policy has cut the import of agricultural commodities into the country. According to him, the country used to import agricultural commodities from its neighboring countries. But as a result of this program, it will help to protect our hard earned foreign currency and boost the growth of our gross domestic products. To my seventh point, the chair, the current persistent rise and fall of food prices can never be attributed to food shortage. I want people to understand that food is in abundance, but people do not have the money to purchase them. People should understand that inflation can be caused by two economic variables. One, the demand pool, and that is where people have the money, but then the food will be scarce, resulting to an increase in the price of the commodity. Two, cost push, and that is where the factors of production, such as utility and fuel, increase, resulting to an upsurge in the price of the commodity. In the case of Ghana now, the country is experiencing cost push inflation, and not demand pool. To my final and favorite points, the chair, there is no perfect policy under the sun. My opponents may come up here to condemn the policy because they have been able to identify a difficult year for the program. But that would be unfair, because in spite of its impressive track record, it is a product of human dream and vision and people are not perfect though the initiative has been very successful the free SHS has a problem with two the Ghana Cat Project has its own problems not to talk of the medical drone service the digital address system the chair the house these policies are well on their feet even though detractors are busy searching for loopholes to criticize them the chair the house it is with these points raised thank you His name, Jones Osu, or let's refer to him as Osu Kabana Jones as he wrote his name. He is a principal speaker representing the Pokowari School. The motion is planting for food and jobs initiative has been very successful, or whilst they are for the motion. So we'll take a trip to Preset Bompata and invite their principal speaker, Nana Efia or Henewa Williams, to defend their stance. Developing countries is to eliminate hunger, reduce poverty, achieve food sufficiency, and eliminate unemployment among the youth within the shortest possible time. The agricultural sector has the potential of sparing the government to attain this feat. It is in light of this that the government of Ghana initiated the Planting for Food and Jobs initiative, which was launched in April 2017, to replace the fertilizer subsidy. The program has gained some success since its inception. However, it would be an overstatement to say that the Planting for Food and Jobs initiative has been very successful. My opponent, if you are right first on the battleground, it does not mean you have won the war. The other young looking chair, why is the new partial panel of educators, a great timekeeper, organizers of Love from High School debates? Ladies and gentlemen, I am William Sinana Afia Adipa of Benua, a proud student from the Presbyterian Senior High School, Bompata. The chair, the motion before this August House is in my quote, planted for food and job initiative, has been very successful, unquote. And I am the principal speaker speaking against the motion. The chair, before we put the icing on the cake, I would like to elucidate some key terms in the motion for the understanding of all and sundry. According to the Ministry of Agriculture, the plan 
Wisconsin for Food and Job Initiative. It's the flagship agricultural campaign by the government. Cambridge Dictionary defines successful as achieving the ones the results wanted or hoped for. The chair for the purpose of this debate. The phrase very successful will be expressed as highly successful or extremely successful. The chair, the motion simply supposes that the PFJ initiative has extremely achieved the results wanted, which we rise to oppose. The chair, the house, we therefore present an underpinning argument why the PFJ initiative has not, I repeat, has not been very successful. Exhibits and videos would be tendered in to back our claims. Point to one, the chair, the PFG initiative has not yet achieved its objective of serving as food import substitution, hence cannot be touted as very successful. The chair, according to Graphic Online, Ghana imports one billion of rice in between 2017 to 2020. Again, Noma.com proves that Ghana's Poultry meat production shot up from $77,639 in 2019 to $288,940 in 2020. My opponent, this clearly shows that we have a long way to go with the module 4 of the PFG initiative, which is rearing for food and jobs. The chair, the house, my opponent. If a flagship program in this 21st century cannot produce the required food demand but has to depend on inputs, do you, my opponent, dare say that such a program is classified as very successful? Huh. Point two, the chair. The PFG initiative cannot be classified as very successful because there's recorded shortage in list access of model, improved seeds and fertilizer. The chair, the PFG initiative in its first year of implementation was showing some little signs of positivity. However, several cases of shortage have been recorded. A case study of participating farmers of the PFG initiative in the Bungurugu Yoyo district revealed that over 50 percent of farmers are facing difficulties in assessing fertilizer. Other farmers are also complaining of delay of seeds, and which has several other effects on their seasonal crop production. My opponent, if the basic raw materials needed for the operation of the initiative are not readily available, do you still dare? Then how then do you prove that this initiative has been very successful? Point three, the chair. The, despite the wonderful intervention of the PFG initiative to solve part of unemployment problem, the data available shows that there is a decline in the agricultural sector. The Chair, a key objective of the PFG is to provide job opportunities for the teeming unemployed youth. But the data on employment shows that there is a decline in, on, in the employment in the agricultural sector. According to the World Bank Collection for Development Indicators for Ghana, in 2016, the agricultural sector accounted for 33.89% of total employment. However, they recorded 32.76% in 2017, 31.05% in 2018, that's 29.75% in 2019, and 28.46% in 2020. My opponents, judging by the figures, do you still claim that the PFG initiative has been very successful? Because from what I see, the PFG initiative has not had any positive correlation with unemployment. For the share, the food security issue of Ghana has not been significantly reduced. In 2019, Ghana was ranked 59th out of 113 food secured countries by the Economist Intelligence Unit, EIU. God, this was not because the PFG was very successful, but because we had food from both external and local sources. But reality dawned on us in 2020, when as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, nations had to depend on local produce. My openness still sits here to tell us that the PFG initiative has been very successful. My openness, why are you doing this to us? Last literature, corruption and smuggling have been a barrier to making the PFG very successful. Lack of integrity and the use of positions and the trust of implementers of the PFG initiative have been on the rise. In 2018, NAFCO government or GH reports that the invasion of coupons and unaccounted fertilizer under the PFG initiative cost the government a whooping 12 million US dollars. Again, several cases of subsidized fertilizer smuggling to other countries have been recorded under this initiative. We turn that in this video as our evidence. 500 bags of subsidized government fertilizer valued at 1,620,000 CDs. One major challenge faced by the planting for food and jobs program introduced by government is a smuggling of farm inputs by some accredited government input dealers. My opponent, see this canker. I mean, see this canker. Can you dare? Can you dare 
say with certainty that the policy riddled with these ads can be classified as very successful? The chair, for every economic policy, the citizens must feel the impact. But this, I say, is not the reality we see. The chair rebuttals. My opponents made mention that the PFG has created job employment. We do not dispute that. But are these jobs sustainable? Has it had a significant effect on the unemployment situation in the country? The chair, my opponents also asserted that the PFG has been a panacea to productivity. Productivity, they say. The chair, what about the challenges associated with it, such as post harvest losses, delaying seeds, and fertilizer supply? My opponents also talked about maize as an increasing yield. My opponents, follow me to the market. Let's go and buy two seed, like an amount of two seed kinky. It's just like my fist. My opponents, are you, do you still tell me that the PFG initiative has produced like crop yield? Oh. Seriously, my opponents, we are not saying that the PFG initiative arrests my case. Well, I don't know. Is, is, it, hot, is it hot in here? Is it hot in here? Wow. All right. So this is the last contest in the quarterfinal stage of the Love FM High School debate for the year 2022. Listen, not too long ago, we heard from Opoku Kwabna Jones, the principal speaker representing Opoku High School. We just heard Nanefia or Henewa Williams representing Presek Bombata. Listen, I will say this to you one more time. Don't be selfish. If you're listening to us on radio on Love 99.5, or maybe you're watching us on Facebook on LUV 99.5, or on television on Joy Prime or Joy Learning, don't enjoy this contest alone. Inform relations, inform your friends, send them text messages, place calls to them and tell them that, listen, the battle lines have been drawn, the debate is, hot, is on and it's hot. At this point in time, we'd like to ask you to, you know, send in your tweets with the hashtag LoveFMHSD. Aside from that, listen, tell us which of the two schools is going to cry the day on Facebook and who is going to be the best debater today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite Joseph Hassan, he's a supporting speaker representing Opoku High School, to continue with the debate. In an article, quote-unquote, how to see great successes, Compton Paul lamented that in many parts of the world, the bulk of government projects perform not perform not badly at all, and sometimes very successfully, even in difficult circumstances. Yet, all these realities are chronically underexposed and not deep newsworthy. After all, negative language dominates. The chairman of judges are great timekeepers. Distinguished guests, co-debaters, fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, we greater extent see, I greet you all. A part of enlightenment I am here to pay, unveiling the atrocities of my openness. Call me as St. Joseph, the supporting speaker, in full support of the motion, quote and unquote, planting for food and job initiative has been very successful. The chair, the house, to my first point. Planting for food and job initiative has been very successful since it is the main source of food to feed students in the free SHS level. The chair, the house, the success story in this regard has been seen in three dimensional directions. One, it has boosted the consumption of homegrown foods. Two, it has reduced food imports. Three, it has reduced government expenditure on foods for free SHS since all schools under the free SHS policy enjoy these locally made foods such as rice, maize, beans, and many more. The chair, my opponents here will even attest to the fact that there has been no single day that their own school failed to feed them with any food. The chair, if all this have been planned and executed, then we are not ashamed to say that our plans for food and job initiative has been very successful. To my second point, the chair, plans for food and job initiative has greatly subsidized farm input prices for plants. The chair, the house, until now, farm input prices were very expensive and had pushed small scale farmers out of the agricultural business. The chair, fortunately, the solution came in the form of the plans for food and job initiative. And through this program, the government had invested a lot to alleviate the price of, of farmers in the country. The chair of the house, in 2020, the Ministry of Food and Agriculture procured and distributed 364,233 metric tons of organic fertilizers to 1.2 million 
Indian farmers in the country. And in 2021, the government had massively subsidized the cost of seeds in our country to make it affordable for all farmers. The Shell House, all these tell us that our Plants for Food and Job initiative has been indeed successful. To my third point, the chair, Plants for Food and Job initiative had reduced unemployment, poverty in the agricultural sector. The chair, in a research conducted in Northern Ghana, using empirical methods of invest propensity weighting estimation, the data disclosed a significant reduction in farm expenditure, an increase in per capita monthly spending, and a decrease in poverty of households that share the house. The finding also revealed a positive impact of the agricultural technologies implemented under the program, so that Dalton Thomas in this auditorium must believe and really support for this program. After all, it is not this beautiful and successful program that is taking us back to IMF. The chair of the house at this juncture permits me to rebut some points made by my opponents, the main measure of the fact that there is shortage of fertilizers. The chair, government had subsidized price of fertilizers due to, the, due to this initiative. Price of fertilizers are caused by excessive pricing by greedy traders on the open market, and that is different from that of the initiative because on the various agri offices, foods are actually cheap and we can afford them too. They also said that price of maize are very expensive. The chair, high price of food, high price of food should be attributed to the recent hike in fuel prices on the international market and the high price of chemical inputs. Again, the World Trade Organization even warned us the Russian-Ukraine war created immense human suffering, damaging global trade and causing high price of goods and services. So the chair, let's save this policy from unwarranted blames because it is never the cause of the high price of food in our country. The chair, the house, they also mentioned of the fact that there is high unemployment in general. The chair, this program continues to solve unemployment but by, by providing agribusiness and also employing people along the commodity value chain. My opponents, you cannot blame this policy for unemployment in general unless you ask the, unless you ask the minister for employment to actually give you the answer because this this initiative has actually give us employment, has actually created jobs in our country. The chair, the house. They also mentioned of the fact that the chair, the house. Thank you. Well, if you're listening to us on radio and you feel, believe, and think that the applaud is loud. It's because of the delivery. And like I always say, yes, listening to it is exciting, but watching it is more exciting. So join us on television. Enjoy Prime, enjoy learning, and also join us on Facebook on LUV 99.5. That was um, Joseph Hassan. He's a supporting speaker for Pokowari School. Now, the motion for this afternoon's debate is Planting for Food and Jobs initiative has been very successful. Now, students from Presec Bompata, they are against the motion. And Regina Ayiku is next, and she is the supporting speaker. Show her some love. The ever young looking chair, wise and impartial panel of adjudicators, and Kiway Tankeeper, organizers of Love of High School debates, co debaters, ladies and gentlemen, good day. I Regina Aiku representing the Edika for I mean Presbyterian Senior High School Bompata the chair the motion before this I guess house and I quote and unquote planting for food and job initiative has been very successful and I stand here as a subordinate speaker against the motion the chair since my competent principal speaker have already laid the evidential base of our argument kindly permit me to proceed with unbiased argument another assertion in support of our stance is that the planting for food and job initiative lacks a system of monitoring thereby leading to misinformation why so most of the information published on the marginal contribution of PFJ to the nation's crop output is only based on simulations, which has a strong assumption succeeding rate, the use of fertilizer, and the input use efficiency on beneficiary farms. The chair, the use of such simulations cannot be relied on, judging from the outcomes of PFJ, since it is not validated from the farms. According to the executive director for Media Foundation, Mr. Brian Masilemana, the Minister of Agriculture have consistently chained out contradictory figures for the public on the performance of the agri sector. However, for instance, the Minister of Agriculture told Tony Blair of UK that since the assumed office, they have been able to increase the productivity of they have been able to increase the productivity of soya beans from hundred thousand to a quarter of million tons. However, as at 2020, that same agri ministry report came out that they are not doing more than 210,000 metric tons of soya beans. The chair, this clearly shows that the minister has misinformed the public. Data on this initiative is very contradictory. So how does 
then can we track the sources of PFJ if the figures out there cannot be relied on? This clearly shows that the notion of very successful is vague since the supporting data out there cannot be relied on. Furthermore, the chair, the marketing pillar of PFJ have failed to link most farmers to buyers. The sole aim of this pillar is to provide ready markets for participating farmers during bumper harvest in order to reduce post-harvest losses. But the chair, most of the vegetable farmers have expressed their disappointment in this pillar. According to the Ghana News Agency, Mr. Roland Tuji, chairman of the Keta Vegetable Farmers and Marketers Association said, members have complained about seeds and ready markets. Members have complaints about seeds and ready markets, noting that when the vegetables were in seeding, traders bought them at a very cheap price. The chair, the house, my opponent, if this initiative has envisaged this challenge and have failed to provide an antidote to help farmers reap the fruit of their labor, why then, my opponent, why then should we sing this policy, a praise song? For again, the chair, another promise of this program is to mechanize agriculture. It, however, most of this model has not been fully operationalized in most of the participating farms. Mechanize agriculture could help produ pro promote productivity and help and help reduce productivity and help reduce post harvest losses however the chair most of the farms under this initiative has not been fully mechanized as a result participants uh, activities of the participating farms have not been efficient the chair joy news report highlighted the frustration of most of the farmers as evident in this video one would assume that the bumper harvest will translate into increased revenues, but that's not exactly the case. Now, I have to de-husk it with my children and then uh, trash it uh, with them again using uh, these yellow gallons, pounding it and then I uh, have to lift it and wait for the wind. If they can also uh, get a way of uh, getting some machine for us to do the harvesting also on the farm. The chair, the house, my opponent. Is this the type of mechanized agriculture this initiative is championing? Is this what my opponent here wants us to believe as very successful? Wow. It would therefore be an overstatement to consider this program as extremely successful. Lastly, the chair, under the planting for exports and rural development, cashew farmers are facing challenges of price of their produce and post harvest losses upon all this, my opponent. Can you still say that planting for food and job initiative has been very successful? Wow. My op the chair, Robert House, my opponent stated that PFJ have subsidized farm input price. My opponent, this is totally overgeneralization because it is not fully operationalized in most of the farm. My opponents also stated that in their definition from the principal speaker, stated that PFJ is a program to create food security. Are there not still food shortages in the country? Don't we continue to import the same food crop we produce? Please, don't try to paint a perfect picture here. My opponent also stated that if PFJ has reduced importation, this is a serious stereotyping. I think I should educate you on importation. According to graphiconline.com, Ghana spends one billion on rice importation between 2019 and 2020. So, what are you talking about? My opponent also stated that PFJ is the main source of food for free SHS. Yes, my opponent, we do not dispute that. But, thank you. Well, as it stands now, we have heard from all the four debaters. So to make it easy and simple for you to help us adjudge the best debater for today, I'll go through the names again. And I'll go to Pukowari School, where we have the principal speaker as Owusu Kwabna Jones, or Jones Kwabna Owusu. The supporting speaker is Joseph Hassan. A round of applause for the two of them, please. And then when we turn to Presec Bompata, we have the principal speaker as Nana Efia Obinewa Williams, supported ably by Regina Ayuku. So now you know their names. How impressed are you so far as you listen to them? How impressed are you so far as you watch them on Facebook on LUV 19.5? Help us pick the best debater. Help us. So which of these four is winning the best debaters contest for today? And of course, also tell us which of the two schools is going to carry the day. We're live on television, Joy Prime, Joy Learning on the multi-TV diggy box. We're live on Facebook on LUV 19.5. We're live on radio on Love 19.5. And also we want you to send us tweets with the hashtag LoveFMHSD. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the debaters to present to us their summaries. And so we'll go back to Pokowari School and call on Jones Kwabena Osu to present their summaries. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the crude. A quote from Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13 from the Holy Bible. The chair, the house, the following are the points raised by my subordinates speaker and I. We argue that, one, the objective set for this planting for food and job initiative have all been achieved. Two, thousands of people have become farmers overnight due to this flagship program. Three, the planting for food and job initiative has been a panacea for productivity and welfare of farmers. Four, the initiative has witnessed an unprecedented export of foodstuffs to neighboring countries. Five, it has attracted a massive interest of international community. Community. Six, it has reversed the importation of foodstuffs to a very low level. Seven, the current persistent rise and fall of food prices can never be attributed to food shortage. Eight, there is no perfect policy under the sun. Nine, the plans for food and job initiative has been very successful since it is the main source of food to feed students in the first years. Ten, it has boosted the consumption of homegrown foods. Eleven, it has reduced food imports. Twelve, the plans for food and job initiative has greatly subsidized farm input prices for plants. Thirteen, the program has greatly reduced unemployment, poverty, and desperation in deprived communities. The chair, the house. If my opponent wants me to make means means out of their hollow argument, I will gladly do the chopping. Now, rebat house. My opponents argue that the plans for food and job initiative has not been very successful since it hasn't, be, it hasn't achieved importation. My dear, please, the objective was not to curb importation entirely. It was to reduce importation and it has drastically done that. As my subordinate speaker even presented evidences to buttress our claims, my dear, please lend the objectives well. My opponents also made mention of the fact that prices are expensive and that the price of the price of produce is very high. Please, my dear, this has nothing to do with the objective and the initiative. If you had listened to me earlier, you would have noticed that I made mention of the fact that there is the cost push inflation. So when cocoa is one city and the transportation is 50 cities, you want the cocoa seller to still sell it for you at one city. My dear, you wouldn't even do that. My opponents also made mention of the fact that unemployment, my also made of the fact that the factors cannot be relied, the figures of the people cannot be relied on. Please, my dear, this is an appeal to authority. Are you saying that the man who knows better in the, in the one in the agricultural sector and, and uses figures he disclosed which were presented in parliament are lies. And someone who uses this, and someone who uses different lens is telling the truth. The chair, the house. This can never be considered. My chair, my dear, repent. The chair, the house. May God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong. Thank you. All right, so a quick, a quick caution. I'm sure that either we are all debaters or we follow debate, so we know the guiding principles. If somebody makes a point and you're excited about it, please, what do you do? Please. When, when we shout, it could distort your thought process and stuff like that. All right, so let's be guided. Thank you very much. Well, interestingly, we have two young men against two young ladies. Both principal speakers are bespectacled, and the supporting speakers are not bespectacled. So at this point in time, I call on the supporting speaker representing Preset Bompata, Regina Iku, no, sorry, the principal speaker, that is Nana Ifia or Benewa Williams, to bring to us their summaries. The chair, all protocols duly observed. My next coming here is not a game of nuts and curses, but to give a decent summary of my subordinate speaker and I. The chair, we argue that the planting for food and jobs has not yet achieved its objective of serving as food input substitution. Hence, cannot be touted as very successful. Two, planting for food and jobs initiative has has not been very successful because it has recorded shortage and late access of farm inputs. Three, we added that despite the PFG initiatives to solve part of the unemployment problem, the data available shows there is a decline in employment in the Great service. Four, PFG has not been very successful because food insecurity issue in Ghana has not been significantly reduced. Five, we are certain that corruption and smuggling have been a barrier in making the PFG initiative very successful. Six, PFG initiative has not been very successful 
because it lacks a system of monitoring, thereby leading to misinformation. My opinion, thereby leading to misinformation. Seven, we added that the marketing pillar of the PFG initiative failed to link most farmers to buyers. Eight, another promise of the PFG initiative is to fully mechanize agriculture, and this is not fully operationalized in most of the participating farms. Nine, we concluded that cashew farmers are facing challenges with prices of their produce and post harvest losses. The chair rebuts us. My opponents, it seems you still do not understand. We are not saying that the PFG initiative is not very successful. But my opponents, it seems you are still lacking the understanding of the motion very well. We are saying that the PFG has not, we are saying that the emphasis here has it been very successful, has it fully achieved its intended objectives. My opponents, has it? My opponents again stated, uh, talked about importation. My opponents, can Ghana boast of not importing anything in a year? In a year? Huh, excuse me. My opponents also talked about uh, PFG being the main source of food. It seems my opponents are lost in their thoughts. The objectives and aims of the PFG have not been fully achieved. There are little gains made out so far with many challenges and there are no, uh, and there you are here singing praise songs. My opponents also stated that there is no initiative which is perfect. The fact that you said that means the initiative here is not very successful. The chair, my opponents again stated that the PFG initiative caused growth rates. The growth rate in the agricultural sector was not because the PFG FG initiative was very successful. But because in its first phase in 2017, it, it has some push-ups. That is why in 2018, the growth rate went down. The chair, my opponent again stated, talk about job and um, employment. My opponent, how many agric students do we even have? My opponent, have you thought about that? The, the initiative hasn't made this very attractive for we, the students, to go into agriculture. So where then lies the argument about employment? <sighs> My opponents again talked about availability of food. My opponents, are there no food shortages in the country? Do we not import the same food crops we produce, like tomatoes, maize, rice, and others? Oh my goodness. I rest my case. You know something? When I sit down, I try to you know, look around and see what is happening. We say it's a battle. We say it's a contest. We say so many things. But it's also held in a very friendly atmosphere. And I love that. Both schools. I realize that at one point in time, the opposing school might say something you're excited about, but then you go like this. And then some of the students will put their hands down. But it's all good. It's all good. Listen, a round of applause for our debaters. They've done so well. So we are done. We are done. And um, the motion for today's competition or contest was planting for food and jobs initiative has been very successful. Now, Opokuwara School, they were for the motion. So you heard from Joan Squabana Owusu, the principal speaker and Joseph Asan, the supporting speaker. You also heard from Presek Bompata, the principal speaker in the person of Nana Ifya Benua Williams, supported by Regina Ayuku. One more time, a round of applause for our debaters, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, our ever young chairperson, as she was described as. I hope you have enjoyed your afternoon, have you? Very much, glad to know that. Okay. So, have you begun telling us whom you think is the best debater for today? And of course, which school is making it to the semifinals? We're live on Facebook on LUV 99.5. Drop your thoughts there. All right, so let's talk about Zest Consult. Now, it's a well-known and trusted brand for the provision of IELTS and now SAT and GRE. Now, they are a proud partner of the British Council of Ghana. Baby, a mad sign. I feel no fear for you. I now saw Obana feel no one on you. It was in fear doing what she. We have everything for your child, dear baby. This is Obuni can dear. Something that is dear is dear to your heart. Anything a dear baby, Eddie and me and Papa. Yeah, they my mana. Omo dear, Omo abofana. Oh, dear baby.
We are talking baby food. We are talking baby shampoo, baby wear, baby shoes. And then I just share. Baby, I have found my friend who and my time and my fair flow. I feel now wow. And I say, oh, you know, me say no money now. Baby, I'm here, baby. It's at dear baby. I'm talking quality at its best. And you ma a year four. It sounds to papa. We are talking UK brand, US brand, Canada brands. Ah, a woku masia nya media dom ye. Oh dear baby. Kuala she. I'm a friend tadi. How do you send tari and kuao? And tari and kuwa and pabwa. And in the kiki. Oh dear baby. about to Malcolm, yeah? I hold you and about to Malcolm. And they are opposite the forestry department. Do you want to call them for all the chit chat and the questions to be answered? 0244 071555. 0244 071555. Dear baby. Oh, I love my baby. Ah, Still less to Papa Pa and a diaries up near CA. After so, there were a Punonibia, a wood embossment. When I interior doors are a crafty taking ever, or by interior doors near the APVC near the APO wood, meaning I interior doors. Now PVC, no, so don't suck her. Who said, Let me suck any muna and yard the tree and it's a cassette, no way a anti scratch, a anti termite, nurse, a boy be at me for no anchor and ripon, no, in so capon way, and yard the service is sun. Put me a pop movie over the own say we are a do say pebreno and as in so towns a pono, a more be a pono way and tessa, sap me and make one same so as I have fire resistance. Dunamis blast and yet doors on corn air tone. Oba has one your living room surface. Dunamis blast, your cra, Ube where was painters, Coca Cola run about, near car K, Kumasi, Ube where one hojo at Inga Junction, and our town also opposite Saint Joseph Catholic Cathedral, Apatrapa Junction, Tamale, Shishaya Wok, Chogu run about, near Zane filling station, and as a Sewudru Takradia, Shishaya Wok market sake. So about Dunamis. Your best parent in the world. Mommy. Frosty bite ice cream for the love of ice cream. I was young when I went in the same room and yam repa. Yes, COVID 19. And when you see who you are, 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 and nothing I'm going to say. Now, the entire year is crying. I'm going to say, yeah, the BBI are doing this trade and tourism online and radio fair. Eddie, bro, share. You made your way. The event to me, the actual only baby, I went to me, the other one. Who feed the upper? Who did match here? Match low. Young corner, I'm in trouble. All right, so now I'm inside GT Bank and I'm here to talk to my brother, Kwame Jujin. Hey, bro, what's up? The upper. Charlie, today I'm here in your office. Thank you. Tell me what you do here and then why people should walk in here to bank with you. Thank you very much. Welcome to GT Bank. So we say, wouldn't you rather bank with us? Today, we are here to talk about our products. Now, looking at the times that we are in, we want to zoom in into our digital products, which has sent us all over the country. So first of all, I want to begin with our 737. Now when we talk about the 737, it is a short code which you can dial on any phone at all, regardless whether it has a 4G, 5G, whether it's YAM. You just have to dial star 737 hash. This will unleash a wide range of services. We are trying to reduce the human face of banking. So just down star 737 hash, it will open the doors to all our banking services to you. You can open an account, 
you can link your account to your wallet, whichever network. You can push and pull mobile money across your account and your wallet. For those of us who are tech friendly, we have what you call GT World. GT World is an application. This time around, you need your data to make it work. So download GT World app. It also allows you access to your account 24-7. What do you want to do? Do you want to purchase credit? Do you want to send credit to someone else? Do you want to move money from your wallet to your account? Do you want to pay a bill? Is it DSTV? Is it utility bills? You can do it on GT World app. We say some common in Yanoma, more magazine, more so a freache, a fidie, yate, more so freno. And ya fee in Koya in Fiebe, November, and could do navy a day. Now, guarantee trust bank. I'm more to quiet near Bedi Jumano, near Ba Mabu Buano, any more by Bayer Juma, and also a magazine. And to Monshe in him. And we are here, we are here, and we are here, and we are here, and we are here. I free from my GT bank. I am here to free. I am here to pay for my money. 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 I GT bank. I am here to pay for my money. Since I am here to pay for my GT bank, na mate o munju mapa o moye eni ntina me ba ha no eni ntina me recommend GT bank emma wo bibia so ye ne so ye jode ni so ye obi a okoko anso kofa ni emma me so say bra na ni GT bank for enye ejuma love and isha fm trade and tourism online and radio fair de etimi ye ni ye ka cho say ba GT bank ya ba wa wa ni tua de amanfo kan ni adanse an ko fo di ye no and one of the say, wouldn't you rather bank with us, JT Bank? Smiles are one of our most precious gifts. The problem is, one in two people suffer from cavities. That's why hundreds of dentists like myself work together with Pepsodent to teach families in Ghana to brush day and night. Remember, your smile is the most important reason to brush day and night. Pepsodent, because every smile matters. Presbyterian University College, Ghana. Discipline in leadership. The Faculty of Law of the Presbyterian University College, Ghana, is affiliated to the University of Cape Coast and was established to educate and train prospective lawyers and personnel that work in law-related firms. The so that's Presbyterian University College, Ghana. Discipline. Love 99.5. Yakaya Hobby. We are a trade and tourism fair. A year for Frogra. And into Lady Amano. And Metufa. We was Sunset Hotel. Na many manager or her, ye be dim como. Na Yashe. Pacho Mua Kaba. Now what you say? Pacho Mua. And then about Sunset Hotel. When you are just a new one. Oh, okay. Na Yanshe. Say, because the sunset will tell her any day. Oh, sunset will tell And you may all have your baby, your accommodation, your restaurant, your pool, your bar, your say, and your venues will be for other sort of programs. And what I say. Now, what's your conference hall? What's your one? Your conference hall, four. Four conference hall? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Now, you share our new couples, you know, sometimes also will meet per hotel. be. Na Marco, your honeymoon. Eh, we'll be waiting here, Basa. But you're So, anyone saw by a letter, 
You call us on phone. O catch us and that's it now. Only walk up on the bar. We bani a set up the room. Bibi, I na bibi a. O mo an am best up. You best set up the room. The bed to say for. Yes, please. Okay. Now you should bed this way. Bed there so sad. The hands are bare. Let's just give us a phone call. Okay. O pray ya. Everything will be ready. The hands are doing it on the bar. Okay. What you want? All right. Now you should restaurant you know. A local, continental, Chinese, Nyama Bena. But your local, 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 Bibia, local dishes we have Bibia, we have the best. Yeah, and a continental as well. Continental and the Bibia, you have sorted noodles, you have spaghetti, you have a lot of food. Oh, okay. You have share rooms in the system, it is saying? Yeah, well, rooms in our whole door, and uh, you have four types of rooms. Four types of rooms? Yes, please. We have a single room, normally we give it out to um, Omoa or Moba, shorter stay. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have a double room. And you know, it takes two people in the room. It's a normal double bed in the okay. room. Okay. And then we have a deluxe room. Okay. Yeah, deluxe room, so it's a king size bed in it. Mm -hmm. And then again, we have a sunset special room. Sunset Hotel is located at Denyame, around Parks and Gardens. You can reach us on 0207 And then again, we have our website www.sunsethotel.com.gh. You can book us on www.sunsethotel.com.gh or you can email us at info at sunsethotel.com.gh. I just remember, what's it near a course? A year, Insure 104.5, Love 99.5, Yen Trade and Tourism Fair, no? Yen near by Sunset Hotel, near who said rooms are for Pana Ehanewo, near who said compound a year for Ehanewo, live ban and Casano. Weekend, Friday, Saturday, it has safety protocol. No, a Google form. And in this, I will book myself. Well, first, I will book myself and go back there. Oma dinner bread sunset. So, I will reach you to a whole bar. Oma dinner book was a ordinary line of a toho. Ofra, no one book, no one better. Sunset, couples, birthday, surprise, no one can fall. And I was if he. Smiles are one of our most precious gifts. The problem is, one in two people suffer from cavities. That's why hundreds of dentists like myself work together with Pepsodent to teach families in Ghana to brush day and night. Remember, your smile is the most important reason to brush day and night. Pepsodent, because every who have also opened undergraduate admissions for the 2022-2023 academic year with courses in math, computer engineering, LLB, nursing, midwifery, amongst others. Locate Presbyterian University College of Ghana Kumasi Campus on the same premises with the Santasi Presby Church close to OWAS. Look for more information online at www.presbyuniversity.edu. Dot gh for more information and so david um these are our sponsors and of course like i said the comments on our social media timeline is running hot and fast which school gets to join opokuwari um is it opokuwari oh ot it's, it to to oh okay Prempe so college or say to kumasi to high Prempe college and kumasi high is it going to be presby senior high bompata or opokuwari school May the best school win today. It's not about the school. It's about whether a school is colonizing the other or the other is killing <laughs> the other. That's what it is this afternoon. Interestingly, I have the results. But before I announce the results, I'd like to invite you to the microphone, the CEO of Zest Consult. He has two minutes to share a very vital and very important message with okay it's not the ceo i think is uh, the pro that's i can see he's a pro so the ceo is not here so he has two minutes to address us all right good evening my name is prosper from zest consult um zest consult institution center which deals with IELT, sat and ngi for undergrads like yourself we would want to recommend SAT to you. 
when you are done with your school, we would want you to come to Zest Consult, study SAT. We would help you with apl application processes. Then you will move to UK, Canada, or any institution of your choice overseas. When this is done, at the end of the day, you have your degree or your master's degree outside the country. When you get there, we have a way we could help you get stipends at the end of the month. It means you are being paid even as you school. With this, we would want to introduce SAT to all undergraduates that as you write your WASI, as soon as you are done with your WASI, then you would want to further, in as much as you would want to go to UCC or Legon or any of the institutions, including Christian service, you could also come, you would write your SAT. After writing SAT, we would make sure that your applications are being processed and then you could equally study outside the country. If you want to come to our office, we have our office in two branches. The main branch is at Cultural Center inside the Jazz Club. And then the other branch is at the so Willis Towers, May 5. You could equally reach us on 0555-631-633 or 0509-092-330. Now, what we want to let everybody here know is all those who would go through our process as in first timers who would come and then write their assert with us, we are taking 30% off your tuition fee. 30% off your tuition fee. It means if you are paying 1,000, you are going to pay 700 Ghana cities. That is what it means. Now, with the lines, I would want to repeat again. If you want to reach us, you, you could reach us on 055-631-623 or 0509-092-330. This consult excellence is our hallmark. Or oh, we can do it better for him. All right, so we came here to witness a contest. And that contest is the last contest in the quarterfinal stage of the 2022 edition of the Love FM High School debate. And this contest was between Opogowari School and Presec Bombata. Ladies and gentlemen, the results are in. And it's my duty to announce which school has made it to the semi-final stage of this year's contest to join OT, Kumasi High, and Premier College. Before I announce the results, one more time, please show them some love, please. I also have the one that has been adjudged the best debater for today. And she'll be taking something away from us as well. So, the results as is before me has Opokuwari School as a school that I'm supposed to mention the results first. That's how it's been placed. So Opokuwari on the left, Presec Pompata on the right. So I'll take that off Opokuwari School. And I'll go through the parameters as I mentioned the scores. By way of organization and clarity, Judge 1 scored 26, Judge 2, 25, Judge 3, 25, totaling 76. Then we can talk about argument and development. Judge 1 scored 24, Judge 2, 28, Judge 3, 27, put together 79. Effective use of rebuttal. Judge 1 scored 10, Judge 2 scored 7, Judge 3 scored 12, totaling 29. Presentation style. Judge 1 scored 12, Judge 2 scored 12, Judge 3 scored 13, put together 37. Then role as a particular debater. Judge 1 scored 9. Judge 2 scored 9. Judge 3 also scored 9, totaling 27. So let's do the maths. 76, 79, 29, 37. Twenty-seven sums up to 248 for Pokuwari School.
Now to the scores for Presec Bompata. Same drill. Organization and clarity. One judge scored 26, another 25, and yet the other scored 27. Put together 78. By way of argument and development, one of the judges scored 25, another scored 27, the other also scored 27, totaling. Seventy-nine. Effective use of rebuttal. Judge one scored twelve. Judge two twelve. Judge three twelve. Put together thirty-six. Presentation style. One judge scored twelve. Another fourteen, and the other fifteen, totaling forty-one. Then role as a particular debater. A judge scored nine. Another scored nine. The other one scored ten, totaling twenty-eight. So 78, 79, 36, 41, 28, with 262. Thank you. At this point in time, I'd like to call on, settle down please, settle down please. Please, thank you. I'd like to call on the CEO of, is it a new life, entrepreneurship, to join me. And the best debater. And she takes away products from our sponsors. Flora Tissue, Top Choco, and a few items. So congratulations to you, Nanefia Obenua Williams. Congratulations to you. To Opoko Warrior School, we say better luck next year. And we'll call on the debaters. We'll call on the debaters for Opoko Warrior School. Ladies and gentlemen from Presec Bompata, please settle down for me. Thank you very much. I'd like to call on the principal speaker and supporting speaker representing Opoko Warrior School. Jones, Kwamina Ousu, and Joseph Hassan to bring their certif certificate of participation. And Mrs. Teresa Jackson, please do us the honors, please. And she is a principal for the Jackson Educational Complex. Bompata, Presec Bompata, please. Presec Bompata, please. Thank you very much. So your certificates are ready. Can we have the other debaters representing the school plus uh, the, the patrons as well? Before my presentation, all students should be upstanding. <laughs> all students, upstanding. Please applaud your teachers for such a wonderful presentation. All of you, applaud your teachers. Your teachers need to be honored. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, sit down. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you for appreciating my teachers, but I wanted a better one. Thank you very much, Mrs. Theresa Jackson. And to the students of Fopoko High School, trust me, you did very well. And um, for those who watched us on television, enjoy Prime, enjoy learning. Those who followed us on Facebook, on LUV 19.5, you can really tell that it was keenly contested. So to our debaters from Opoko School, we say congratulations to you and hope to see you next year. So Joan Squabina Owusu and Joseph Asan. A round of applause for them one more time, people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shortly, I'll be handing over the S. Space to Patricia Amabonsu to take it away and engage with patrons and supporters as well as the debaters. But Patricia, before you take it away from me, oh, mommy, don't leave me yet. Mommy, don't leave me yet. Please don't leave me yet. We will once again call on the winning school, Presec Bompata. And let me call on Regina Ayuku to come and take this on behalf of them, I mean the debaters. So, Regina, although you picked this, it's for you and Anethia Benewa Williams. It's for the two of you. 
I'm thinking it's coming from Madam Catherine, who is also supporting us with this year's debate. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I just want to this contest. And once you, you are done, let's do this quickly. Once you are done, then Patricia, you take over from, from, from the foyer. So over to you, Presec Bompata, your school anthem, please. Very quickly, please. And so we have come to the end of the last competition of the quarter final stage of the fourth edition of the Love FM High School's debate. Remember, you are still live on your superstation, Love 99.5 FM, Joy Prime, and Joy Learning on your multi TV DJ box. My name is Patricia Amabosu, and like we said, we saw this competition between Opokuwari School Akatechie and also Presby Senior High School Bompata. Of course, they argued on something related to um, the planting for food and jobs. And at the end of the day, Owas didn't get to be at the semi-final stage. Presby Senior High School Bompata, of course, have gotten a chance to be in the semi-final stage of the Love FM High School's debate. We'd like to say congratulations to all of them. And like we always do, yes, we speak to them after and find out what really happened. And so if I have a was here, of course, we can speak to a was right now. And um, they initially told us that they were going to colonize um, Presby Senior High School Bompata, but it looks like it's been a different story at the end of the day. Um, gentlemen, congratulations anyway. Thank you. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling very sad, honestly. Tell me why. Because... I honestly don't understand why we were out. We honestly did our best. And I don't understand why all the schools who are for the motion actually were just, were, I don't know, I honestly don't know what to say. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cry, honestly, because I really gave all my, I gave all my all. But I was, I don't know, all the against team won, all the four team were out, honestly. And if you really watched the debate, you would have found out that we actually did our, we, we, it's okay. So, Thank you. So, so don't worry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on for me. I'll be. I'll be coming back to you. But um, tell me, what, was it a, a very difficult motion for us? No. So what happened? It's a trend. That's how they've made it. All the four schools, T schools are out, and they're against are actually winning, and that's why they've made it. So it's a trend that they have actually set up. So we don't know. Wow. Do you think it's a trend? You think? You think it's it's. <laughs> That, that's quite interesting, but um, you know you are still winners anyway. I mean, getting to the quarterfinal stage of this competition is not a small joke. Yes, yeah, sure. But wait, you, or, or was you promised to colonize Presby Senior High School today? What happened to the colonization? We did colonize. Honestly, we did. But the judges are the judges. So at the end of the day, what they say is final. Even though what we witnessed, we indeed colonized. What do you think was your strongest point that you think should have gotten Owas a victory today? All our points were strong. All, all our points were actually strong. I can't think right now, honestly. Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry, but honey, just be fine and you'll be fine for me. What will be your final words, honey? None. None. Don't worry. Anyway, I think I have something to brighten up your day. And so I have these beautiful packs coming in from um, Flora Tissues and also um, Top Choco for you and so i like to still say congratulations you've done amazingly well okay but what would you want to say to Bradley Senior High School? They've qualified to the next stage finally. All the best they should just keep on and then win it anyway. Okay all right thank you so much so you can go through here for me of course and I can have my victors for the day that is Presby Senior High School Bompata have a very brief conversation as to what they also did that they beat the boys today. Uh, Regina, congratulations. Thank you. And um, Abinua, same to you. Thank you. 
you people said we are going to use um, David and Goliath. How, how did you use it today? Um, as in, OAS um, is a very known school than us. So they being Goliath, we are David. But because of the Lord on our side, with just a stone, we were able to kill them. And they were not able to colonize us. That is how it happened. I think, let's look at the points difference between the two schools. What, what, what does it tell you? Mm, it, tells, it tells us we can go further with the support from our teachers, from the school administration, everything. Everything is really working together. And then from our hard work too, we can really go far. One thing I can promise the two of you is that you are meeting or you are going to meet schools such as Prempe College, Kumase High and also Osei Tutu in the semi-finals. And trust you me, that should actually scare you. No. It's not going to scare us. Because last year, at this stage, we were eliminated. But we went back, we upped our game, and now we've kicked Owas out of the game. Um, formerly, it was supposed to be Owas and Prempe, but now we are in place of Owas, so we are not scared at all. So there's a possibility we can kick any of them out. I see it's Presby Senior High School, Bampata winning the final trophy. Yes, for sure, 100% sure. I see. Congratulations once again for making your school so, so proud of you. Presby Senior High School, Bompata. We appreciate that. We'll see you at the semi-final stage also. All right. And so we'd like to say thank you so much for being a part of today's broadcast. My name is Patricia Mabosu. Next week we'll be going into the semi-final stage of the Love FM High School debate, of course. And so get to see finally which school gets to win it at the end of the day. Remember, St. Monica's girls, which was the defending champions, were ousted. And so let's see how things really go. So, thank you so much, guys. We'll see you elsewhere. Thanks, my name is Patricia Mabosu.